Well, good morning, and apologies for my hair. It's uh, one of those mistakes I tend to make, because in Ireland I packed everything into boxes, and they're being sent here, except um, hairbrush. Yeah, you need those kind of on a daily basis if you're me, but since it's in a box, somewhere between Ireland and Sweden, I don't really have it. And since I have one, I don't want to buy a new one, because that'd be a bit of a waste of money and space. So I'm going to be looking like this now, I guess. I'll have a shower and try to fix it out with my fingers. Um, in any case, today is Monday. It's very warm and very sunny. It's I'm very happy with that. My brother is at work. He left one of the cars at home so I can go some... Well, of course, he's not going to drive two cars, and he has multiple. But one of them actually runs. So we'll see if I make any use of that. I, on the other hand, plan to just sit at home and write today. Because I have to finish this book. Um, so I have my breakfast coffee. I haven't really woken up yet, as you can probably hear. And I'm going to sit here in the sun and drink my coffee. And then I'm going to go inside and start work on writing. Because tomorrow... Tomorrow is not going to be pleasant, I think. Uh, he's ordered firewood, lots of it, which I'm supposed to take in. But that's supposed to arrive at the same time as I'm at the unemployment office. That'll be interesting. <laughs> um, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the boxes arrive at the same time, actually. So that'll be a bit messy, but probably fun. Hopefully fun. So yeah, coffee for me, and then writing. I'll see you later. The trickiest bit about deciding to become a writer, I have discovered, is that it's very difficult to just sit down and write. After a few hours, as it has been in this case, it gets uncomfortable. Like, you start changing positions, this, left, right, center, can I have this leg over that, can I put this pillow there, and nothing really helps. <sighs> but I have written about a chapter, I guess. If, if I did chapters, it would be a chapter, I'm not very good at splitting things up like that. It's a superhero story. It's uh, going to be about a chick who randomly ends up in a situation where she probably shouldn't be, and um, when she wakes up the day after, she has superpowers. But she doesn't know that yet, so she discovers it gradually that she can do stuff that she couldn't quite do before. Hopefully it's actually going to be a quite fun book, but I don't know. Um, and then I also have to edit the, the first book that I wrote, but I hate editing. <laughs> it's fun writing. Writing is fun. It's like you can just sit there and go, oh, this happens and this happens and this happens. Whereas editing is taking out all the bad stuff. And I don't like saying that anything I wrote was bad. So I hate editing. I need a good editor. I also... Mm. Anyways, I've done quite a bit of writing then today. Not as much as I wanted, not as much as I'm used to, but I'm still getting used to this new place. You can see this room is huge. This is my living room. Um, so, yeah, I have one of those... Ear. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm gonna go do the last of the grass now, I think, and then my brother should come home and we should start considering what to eat. Mm, yeah. Any tips and advice on how to force yourself to write more and better are actually welcome, because, you know, I want to write more and better so that I can write a good book, so that people want to read it, so that I... I don't know why. It would just be fun. Y yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> the good news or the bad news first, I don't know. Um, I have been out cutting the rest of the grass, and I didn't tell you, but on the first day of the grass cutting, I, um, I <laughs> mowed a lot of lawn, and I moved a lot of cut grass afterwards. And somehow, sometime during this process, I managed to lose my supposed wedding ring. It's like, we have an engagement ring, and then I also bought wedding rings that are really, really nice, and me and Alex have one each. Um, and it's, I sort of screwed up when I was measuring these because the ring finger has a size, of course, but these are very thick rings, so it goes over the belly, I guess, of the ring finger, so it's too big to have on the ring finger, and it's too small to have on the little finger, really, but I keep wearing it on the little finger because I want to wear it, and when I was cutting grass and lifting it and everything, it has, at some point, slid off while I was doing that. Now, I of course thought that I'd been clever and put it somewhere so I wouldn't lose it. Um, so I didn't make a big deal out of that, no panic. We just, during the past two days though, of looking through the house, I sort of realized that no, I didn't take it off. I actually lost it while I was mowing the lawn. That was a bit sad, very sad actually, and I was planning on making a mention of that. That sounds pretty sloppy, you know, the whole 
oh, wife loses ring, that's probably an omen that she doesn't want to be married, and that's very sad. And <laughs> so today when I was out finishing up the last of the grass, I had this little, mm, I wonder if, you know, how many places could it really have just jumped off without me noticing? Probably when I was emptying the cut grass over at the compost heap at the back of the garden. So off I go, and there's a lot of grass there. Like, and by now it's my rocking it's you know when it starts steaming because it's decomposing that's the state it was in and i get down there on my knees with all the mosquitoes and the ticks and the things and the everything i don't know how many horrible bites i have everywhere now my legs look like a, a date with well double date with vampires but at the bottom of this steaming smelling horrible biting heap da -da! <laughs> Well worth it, well worth it, but I'm gonna make sure that I don't wear it when I'm doing something like that again because it was pretty sad losing it and it was ever finding it and that's something I really want to avoid in the future, so yeah, happy ending. And so night time has come. It's been a uh, an interesting day, not very rewarding. Well, I found the ring, as I said, and we've been watching some gaming channels on YouTube, which was, you know, interesting. <laughs> And now I'm gonna go to sleep because tomorrow all the firewood that I mentioned will show up and I have to work on that. And I'm also going to the unemployment office to see what they can do for me. If they can find me a job or ideally some kind of education since I don't really want a job but I want money. Uh, that sounded terrible. It probably is terrible too. But the main idea is the only job I can actually do is customer support. And I don't want to do customer support so hopefully they can help me with something else at least. Uh, so I'm gonna go to bed now, hopefully I'll be up and awake in time, hopefully there'll be a car for me to drive to the city tomorrow, and uh, other than that, I'll keep you up to date. So have a nice night, bye!